Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to start a new Let's Play series. We're going to be starting The Curse of Monkey Island, aka Monkey Island 3. That was released in 1997, a little bit after 1 and 2. Um, I played 1 and 2 on the channel. They were um, the new editions, but they kind of supported the old versions. This one seems to be just um, no fanciness added, just the basic Monkey Island 3 game. So as I booted it up, I have seen that there is the Curse of Monkey Island and the Curse of Monkey Island Mega Monkey Mode, um, which is the same but with more puzzles. I have now Googled this and I sadly want Mega Monkey Mode. Um, <laughs> I, I want the evil, horrible, vindictive Sierra puzzles that we all know and love. So let's see what that gives us. <laughs> Gives us a lot of monkey noises. Okay, I'll mention this is completely blind, so I have no idea what I'm getting into. The Curse of Monkey Island is what I assume that stands for. I mean, oh, there's the um, islands from the second game. Um, the scab, booty, and fat up there. And there's that classic music. I'm just expecting this to be fun. <laughs> and punishing. And fun. Deep in the Caribbean. Monkey Island. Oh, do we actually get to go back to Monkey Island? Oh, it's been so long. Okay, I feel like we don't get to go back to Monkey Island. <laughs> Already took a sharp right turn. <laughs> This is weirdly familiar. I haven't played this game, but this is familiar. Why do I why do I know this? <laughs> have I tried this game? I don't know. Did I played this when I was little? I would have Captain's been an eight Log, when this came out. Guybrush Threepwood. Lost at sea for days now. I have no crew or navigational instruments. No provisions except a half eaten corn dog, and unless I find water soon, I'm surely done for. Only the hope of finding my love, Elaine, keeps me going. My quest for the fabulous treasure called Big Whoop has left me in this sorry state. I thought it would bring me fame and glory. Instead, it delivered me into the clutches of my enemy, the zombie pirate LeChuck. I had thwarted his evil plot to marry Elaine, and he was after revenge. Uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. Oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Mm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. Oh, my sweet Elaine. Am I cursed to starve here on this ocean without seeing your face just one more time? Am I... That was a good start. Also, I'm noticing there's no subtitles, so I'll try to turn them on when I get the opportunity, but this is... This is a good start. I'm excited now. <laughs> Music is so catchy. Ah, oh, the scum system. Yes, insane animation system. Oh, there's the Imee's music system again. I actually don't know how long after um, Monkey Island 2 this came out. I know that there was a bit of a gap, like 1 and 2 were similar, and then there was a gap and then 3. Um, but I'm actually not very confident on even that. Oh, 
I forgot to mention I enjoyed the callbacks to um, the ending of two. There. It makes no sense, but it's whatever. There's our girl. How many times do I have to tell you, LeChuck? I just don't feel that way about you. Elaine? By my congealed blood, you'll learn to love me. Sail with me, and I'll make you queen of the dead. I, I can't. I'm washing my hair tonight. Blast be your hair, woman! Can't you see that this salty old sea corpse pines for your every gentle caress? You know, I don't think my father would approve of me dating the undead. And you're probably too nice a zombie pirate for me anyway. Let's just be friends instead. Chuck, you're an evil, foul-smelling, vile, codependent villain, and that's just not what I'm looking for in a romantic relationship right now. Darn your riddles, you saucy female! What do you mean? Ah! Oh! You're a bloodthirsty monster who's already kidnapped me once, tortured my friends, and taken from me the only man I ever loved, Guybrush Threepwood. Ah, uh, how romantic. Ship ahoy! It's like a movie. This is Very sitting back and watching. Fish him out. Oh, my bumper car. Guybrush? Guybrush, Threepwood. By my gangrenous gut, I don't know how you escaped my carnival of the damned. But you won't escape a taste of my blade! <laughs> oh, the lass has spirit. -y. Throw him in the hole, and I'll finish him after the battle. Turn loose the long boats and prepare the flaming voodoo cannonball. Sounds like bad news. Part one: the demise of the zombie pirate LeChuck. That sounds promising. I've got to get out of here and help Elaine. Only get through this one door, and then I could easily overpower the armed guards above, slip over the side, and make for the shore. Quit your mumbling, captive! Oh, I thought it was gonna help me for a second. Okay. Ooh, hello. Shows me what everything is. Let me see. Okay, now I am going to press. This will make you rue the day. Escape. Oh, I just right clicked. So that's my um, inventory is right click. I have healing balloons. I was hoping for like a settings menu. Okay. Is there. Game paused. That's something. I hit T to maybe talk. Um, I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Who are you? You don't scare me, you mangy pirate. Hello, please don't kill me. <laughs> Arr. Selling these fine leather jackets. Aren't you a little short for a pirate? One thing I'll mention really quickly is it's very much not worth it, I think, to try to connect this with the ending of two. It's tempting to try to connect this, but I feel like that's just a road we don't want to go down. Hello, please Hello. don't kill me. Um, please don't kill me. Oh, don't worry about it. I don't, um, I mean, you'd best beg for your life, you fetid flounder. Woe be to ye who fall victim to the zombie pirate LeChuck. Sound pretty tough. Are you wearing a fake beard? Is that hook for real? Is that real eye patch? Can I borrow your cannon for a second? Been swell talking. Are you wearing a fake beard? Blood knows the pirate would not have a fake beard. Yes, it is. It's been glued to your ear hair. Actually, it's a highly sophisticated beard weave made from the chest and back hair of real pirates. I'm hoping it'll take root if I don't wash it for a while. 
Oh. Hey, wait a minute. You're not a pirate. Wally! Don't you recognize me? It is Wally. Oh, gee. Hello, Mr. Wood. That. How did I not notice? Saw you, we were prisoners in LeChuck's dungeon. I love you, Wally. You sign on with the ship of the living dead. Well, Mr. Brush, at first I had some misgivings about it. But thanks to LeChuck's seminars, motivational lectures, and audio books on Parrot, I've become a vicious Corsair. You can too. Ask me how. <sighs> Literature. Actually, I'm curious about these audiobooks. Tell me about these audiobooks. <laughs> to become a pirate, the audio books on Parrot are the key. You get a set of 12 parrots, one a month. Return as many as you like. Keep them all and live. They teach you to talk just like a pirate. All the key phrases are in there. Blow the man down. Shiver me timbers. Who's a pretty bird? All the phrases a pirate needs to command respect on the high seas. Do you have any literature I could look at? Here. I want items. This leaflet explains the basic philosophy I follow. Tell me about these seminars. The seminars really brought things into focus. You don't know how empowering it is to be able to say to yourself, Yes, I am a despicable, filthy, villainous pirate, deserving blame and censure. But that pirate is who I want to be. Everyone was really very supportive. We had this great feeling of synergy. Then LeChuck kicked down the door and said, You lazy scum, get back to work or I'll beat you with your own legs. Tell me about these motivational lectures. Well, they weren't lectures as such. It was what LeChuck described as flogging the inner child. Set me free. What's behind that door? What are LeChuck's plans? Snap out of it, Wally. You're a failure as a pirate. No, I would never. Uh, what is behind, What's behind that, door? that door? Ooh, that's the door to LeChuck's treasure hole. There's Let's go there. Piles of gold and silver. He's brought all the loot he's ever stolen to give to Elaine. LeChuck is convinced that he can buy Elaine's love. Mm. I'm glad all of these games start with a lengthy conversation with Wally. <laughs> So he's gonna buy Elaine's love. So I'm just gonna say, set me free. Set me free, Wally. I can't, Mr. Brush. I'm the evil pirate Mr. Brush. now. And besides, even if you got up on deck, LeChuck would cut you to ribbon. Snap out of it, Wally. I want my old Wally That's back. Blood -nose Did I say Marty or Wally before? I got that mixed up. However much I love Wally, I get his name wrong constantly. It's been uh, swell talking to you. I might talk to him again, but I do want to. What is this? Take that! I can't quite squeeze past this cannon. I mean, you could. Move out of the way! I can't fire that cannon with you standing there. There's the muzzle porthole. So I have the pirate literature. I really wish I had a settings menu. Still, um, porthole, muzzle. Go back. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna click on things. Like, pick up? Let's see if you can take this! Let's push. Grab. I'll reduce your fort to rubble! Rimrod? I feel like I could take on the world! It's not doing anything. You in the fort! Your doom be at hand! Hit E. Looks like a ramrod for the cannon. E is examine. T is talk. I want to talk to the ramrod. I'm saying P and Y are still pull and yank. Open, close. I wouldn't see. Um. Somehow, I find all this violence desensitized. Pick up you. You is pick up. Pick up They're too heavy to carry. Look at the ramrod. Pick up the um root. Could never untie that big enough. Okay, um, let's get out of here and then use, use. Um, is we can take the ramrod. Yes. The cannon's already loaded. Okay. I 
can't reach it. I can't reach it. Okay. I can't reach it. Currently. Oh. Okay. Open the grate. Use the grate. I can't reach it. Can you reach it with a ramrod? The grate is solid wood. I can't push it open. What about the cannonballs? The ramrod is for the cannon, not the cannonballs. Does that do anything? That doesn't need to be loaded. Locked door. <laughs> is it a giant that doesn't need to be loaded. lock pick, maybe? Wally, you want this? I'm not gonna punch it for Wally, but this. Because he's talking to Wally. Stand your distance. Um. What are LeChuck's plans? He's been working on a secret weapon. Some incredibly powerful cannonball. He's going to use it to blow down the walls of the fort so his crew can overrun the island. Okay. It's been, uh, I don't want to tell him he's a failure. Okay. Um, I push the cannonballs. You grab. Use. They're too heavy to carry. Rope, 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 rope. It's all tangled up in all that debris. I can't pick it up. But then why else is it here? I need like a sharp object. Or any of these interactable. That's the grate. Um I couldn't force that door open with my bare hands. Hmm. Use the cannon? Get your hands off that cannon! Let's see if buttons do things. Oh, tab also opens my inventory. Um, keep pressing that like that's. Supposed to be. Oh, there's examine, talk, use. I think that's like a hint thing that I might have just accidentally done. What if I? Hey. It's one of those new loading cannons I've heard so much about. Okay. That explains why you're shooting it so fast. I'm just gonna examine everything. It's an old short frayed rope. Oh, it looks pretty sturdy. Looks like a ramrod for the cannon. Piracy. The Lechuk way. Chapter one. How to get more than fifteen men on a dead man's chest. They're very bested. So I have the healing balloons. I can use the healing balloons on. I can't use a balloon with that. Cannon? Well, I can't use a balloon with that. I don't think he'd like that. Let's go back out. Hmm, this is tough. I am already stuck, and I'm also simultaneously trying to figure out the controls. I can't reach it. There's a strange glow coming from that porthole. Yes, I'm turning. It's the muzzle of the cannon. Learning to use the examine. It's another gun bay. Key. I can't squeeze past this cannon to get over there. <sighs> Can I push the nozzle? Push, yank, shove. Oh, don't know what that does. That was the um, D key. Okay. Let's press a bunch of keys. Hoping for the best. Um, I feel like I sh should be able to use this with something, right? That doesn't need to be loaded. The I think I've tried all cannon, this. Not the cannonballs. Hmm. That doesn't need to be loaded. The grate is solid wood. I can't push it open. It's the restraining rope for the cannon. I could never untie that big knot. Stand back. Okay, given how stuck I am, you're a failure as a pirate. Gonna call Wally a failure. Shut your trap, you yellow belly. Maybe that will help me. One more peep out of you, and I'll do you in. Peep. 
Yes, Gabra Swab. One more word and I'll let you have it. Word. That's it. I'm so gonna sarcastic. Blast I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You would never do it, Marty. <laughs> We're friends. Uh, I can't do it. I just can't. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Wood. I'm just not a pirate. Give him a hug. I'm not ferocious or bloodthirsty or hateful or anything. I'm not even. I'm not even unpleasant. Oh. oh. There, there. Holy. Well, I don't want to disturb him. Okay, so I want to pick up the hook. Hard day. Um, let's see if we can't e use. <laughs> the hook is too big to fit through the grate. Was that gonna help with that? Scraping a hook on that would be pointless. Yeah, well, the gaff. I've created a gaff. Scraping a hook on that would be fun. Okay. We are going to go outside. I can't reach it. Mm, no. <laughs> I can't reach it. Oh gosh, darn it. I can't squeeze past this cannon to get over there. But but boys. It's the muzzle of the cannon. Mm, no. Okay. You are you are useless. So I have the cannon. Can I use the cannon? Sort of. Oops. That was me. Sorry. Okay, it's really hard to aim this. It's inverted um, Y axis as well. Just thought you should know. I'm just gonna kill some. There we go. Hey, I'm getting pretty good at this. <laughs> Ooh, gross. All the bones and stuff are floating towards the ship. Oh no. I might have to um pick well, those up. Messed with the wrong skull this time. <laughs> nice. Sharp hey, object. That's my arm. Give that back. Can we talk? Hey. <laughs> we can just do that. Alright, well that was fun. So now I can cut the um the restraint. Move the cannon and get out of the window. I'm assuming a lot. Haha! Taste cold steel, feeble cannon restraint rope. <laughs> a vest. What about you? Even if I could cut it loose, it's too short and frayed to be of any use. Okay, can I pick up the rope? Could never untie that big okay, so I should just be able to get out then. So I'm gonna do that. I don't seem to be able to do anything with the cannonballs, so I can't reach it. I can't squeeze past this cannon to get over there. <sighs> do I need to move this cannon somehow? <laughs> um I also have this um skeleton arm that I'm not sure what I'm doing with. With the demon oh, flames of this voodoo cannonball, oh, a blast by significant other into the significant flame. other world. <laughs> That'll show her how much I truly care. That makes more sense. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Neptune's navel. That was a close one. Oh, no! Now we have the skeleton floaty arm. I'll be fine.
Hello. Hey, I lost my cutlass when the ship capsized. Let's examine things. It's LeChuck and all his gory. Uh, glory. I don't even want to know what LeChuck's plans were for that. It's a bag of wooden nickels. Some treasure. It's got a zombie ballerina. Hey, it's the Songs for Undead Lovers collection. A beautiful high capacity washer and dryer combination. Hey, it's the Songs for Undead Lovers collection. This is just going to be a bunch of really bad jokes. Chocolate covered barnacles, marshmallow hooks, sea urchins, glass eyes. Ugh. And we're going to start picking things up soon. But oh, well, Chuck's unused comb. I hate to think what that comb's been through. It's unused. I think LeChuck needs it more than I do. No self-respecting pirate would be- It got broken when the ship capsized. I see more than enough of him already. I don't know, that seems kind of creepy. Ugh, that stuff is disgusting. Trying to pick the everything too up. too big to carry around, and the sword's a fake plastic one. No, champagne makes me all giggly. I'd have no place to plug him in. All giggly. Now my hi-fi is broken, and it's impossible to find a quadraphonic needle anywhere in the Caribbean. Not wrong. Oh, okay, up the ladder. Because the ship is capsized, this ladder goes to nowhere. Use the portfolio? That's not the kind that opens. Gaping hole to surface. I can't climb my way up there. Ah, nuker. What is that? I wouldn't be able to swim with all that treasure. I'll leave it here and come back for it when I have a boat. Yeah. Um. So I am going to use my balloons. No. I can't use a balloon with that. With me, I want to use it with me. Whatever, I'll use it. With I the... can't use a balloon with that. I can't use a balloon with that. Hmm. I can't use a balloon with that. How do I get out of here? Goes to nowhere. Because the ship is capsized, this ladder goes to nowhere. Unsanitary looker. It's the biggest pile of treasure I've ever seen. It's bad luck to grab booty under a ladder. <laughs> Chuck. No, oh, if only I could find a way to get up there and get out. Did I just call him LeChuck? Don't judge me. I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> and I'm looking at how long I've been recording. And I also don't know how I'm going to exit this game. I will add. Escape key does nothing. So I'm hoping there's like a point. Like I just haven't had a menu. So I'm hoping there's like a point where it's like, aha, you have started the game now. Um, I might have to even just take a break and like eat. <laughs> oh, bag nickels. Hey, there's a big diamond ring behind this bag. Pick that up. I see more than enough of him already. Okay, so now I have a giant diamond ring. That doesn't need any jewelry. That doesn't need any jewelry. I don't want to pop the fun balloons. It's a bag of wooden nickels. And I can use that with nothing. What can I use the balloons with? I feel like it's not gonna like, let me get up there. Filthy loot. I'm wondering if any of that is gonna be um useful. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> I can't use a balloon with that. Okay, I'm kind of I press enter again, so it's pick up, I see the hand move, look at, I see this move, and then talk to the little parrot and it says mele booty plunder 1607 so is that really is it three options pick up use and examine or sorry um pick up talk and examine so look at it touch it and talk to it Seems to be my three options, because open, pull, yank, whatever, are not really doing anything, and that kind of makes sense. Open and close um, and push are very similar to use, um, so oh, only makes sense to put them all into one. Get out. 
That being said, I'm so stuck. Um, the only thing I don't love uh, is that you can't. Hey, can anybody lower a rope? That you can't see what I'm doing because I'm like using the keyboard shortcuts, and there's nothing kind of on the UI. Um, so unless I'm like explicitly like saying like, oh, I'm about to talk hey, to the gaping hole. Can anybody lower a rope? Um, then there's no way you would know what I'm doing. That's frustrating. Why? Blah, blah, blah. I've already tried examining and looking at everything that I can look at. And I don't see how to use my items. So I'm stuck. I'm gonna combine I things. Can't use this. I can't use I can't use I can't use the skeleton arm with So hungry. <laughs> Alright. I feel like I need to use the ring to get out. Because otherwise it would have been possible for me to leave the room without finding the ring. That's the current logic that I'm going for. Wait, 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 wait. What if wooden nickels with like the records? That doesn't take wooden nickels. 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 Uh, you're all the worst. Okay, I'm very upset with myself because it is episode one and I've already looked something up. But <laughs> here we go. <sighs> That makes sense, using the ring with the porthole. Okay. Yeah, diamond, glass. I'm a little slow. I also had food. <laughs> so this will be helpful. Guybrush! I thought I'd lost you forever. Is it really you? Yes, Elaine. Um, did you really mean what you said out there? That I was the only man you ever loved? Uh, well, yes, Guybrush, I guess I did. Elaine, I'm a man of action. A swashbuckler, a rogue, a wanderer, a man who can hold his breath for ten minutes. I have no ties and no regrets. I sail with the wind and go where adventure takes me. But somehow, something always Guy leads Brush, me. Guybrush, stop babbling. Elaine, will you marry me? Oh, Guybrush. Oh, Wally? You're alive! How did you survive the explosion? I was thrown clear. I'm just lucky I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. Wow, Elaine, that's some ring. Thank you, Wally. It's an engagement ring from Guybrush. Hey, that looks just like the big diamond ring that Chuck had in his treasure hold. You know, the one with that ghastly, disfiguring voodoo curse on it. Well, I'm sure Guybrush wouldn't have given you that ring. Anyway, I gotta be going. I hear there's a tattoo removal place on this island that's freckle safe. See you at the wedding! Guybrush! Uh... Molly. <laughs> well, well, there's the Curse of Monkey Island. Part two. The curse gets worse. <laughs> oh no! Elaine? Oh, she's not gonna be happy about this. Okay, so now we are in chapter two. I think this is a fantastic place to leave it. I wish that I could like access some sort of save system or like a menu somewhere. But this seemed to be what we got. So I am going to hit Alt F4 and if it doesn't work, I really also really want subtitles. I'm going to look that up too. Um, but yeah, if that doesn't work, I don't. I, I can redo chapter one and figure it out, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm tangled up in my headphones. <laughs> Thanks for watching the Monkey Island 3 series. We'll be back next time. I will not look up things as often. I only do that when I'm getting like really obnoxiously. Like, I know that there's something simple that I'm like not doing. Actually, I want the music. Um, it's, there's something like obnoxiously simple that I know I'm not doing, and it's just like. All right, let's get this over with. Um, for the bigger things, I'll try not to, like if once the world opens up a bit, I'll try to like explore a lot more um, before looking things up. But that was just a moment of weakness and I apologize, but thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye. Hey, that looks just like the big diamond ring that Chuck had in his treasure hold. You know, the one with that ghastly disfiguring voodoo curse on it.